And there was a lot of good things tonight, a lot of things to build on. I think one of our focuses was was that, of course, but the, so was the back end with the blue line, trying to figure out where this group's going to be. Uh, this group, this blue line is so similar to the 2010 year, uh, where you're coming out of here going, oh my God, what's the decor going to look like? And it, it's a process, especially when summer hockey. Yep, yep, from the opening meeting, that's yep. something that we talked about. And uh, that, that was what focus of our practice and video sessions the last two days. Um, we want to be good in the neutral zone, but then attack quickly north. And we have tremendous high-level speed. We want to use it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I, I thought that he made some subtly uh, really big saves. And uh, that, that's something that really bodes well for his teammates. Uh, I, I think what he showed tonight is really going to help our squad. Well, it's a relationship that we started to build right away. Uh, you know, you're trying to build some something in terms of leadership, and especially when you don't know the guys all that well. Um, there's a great group of kids here, a great nucleus of kids that are leaders, and JT's done a great job stepping up and communicating with them. Not really. I think that's been the benefit of the Ann Arbor program. Uh, a lot of these kids have played together. They know each other. Uh, the, the, I think the, one of the best things about this group is that they, you can show these kids a video talk to them one time and they pick it up like that their hockey awareness hockey sense really really good that, that's a tremendous quality for these kids yeah they, they have very good uh, awareness of where, where they are uh, but they do a great job communicating on the bench they're always talking um, and sharing different thoughts with their teammates and uh, it, it's a good chemistry right now hopefully that's something that we can build on